Good morning children so today we have talking about class 2 lesson clothes of social so children you know about clothes yes we wear clothes to cover our body correct so what else do the clothes do they make you nice colorful clothes also you wear it looks very nice and beautiful also yes so clothes protect you also they protect you from heat rain and cold yes children so tell me clothes cover our body they protects us from heat cold and rain and clothes make you look very beautiful yes or no you wear so many colorful clothes sometimes you'll wear red blue green so many colors so i'm sure you'll feel very happy very smart and beautiful when you wear colorful clothes everybody will be looking at your colors and your dress also wow lovely pink color very good somebody say very nice blue shirt yes your friends also tell come and tell you very nice shirt you are wearing today very nice dress you are wearing today even you go and give compliment to your teacher also teacher your sari is so beautiful lovely color very nice color pink color in see and then you will go and tell your friends also if it is your favorite color you'll go and tell this is my favorite color you are wearing a lovely green color so children everybody feels very happy when you are wearing different type of clothes it covers your body you it protects you from heat cold and rain and it makes you look smart and beautiful yes children yes you also wear variety of clothes sometimes t-shirts sometimes shirts clothes pants salwar kameez sarees dresses all varieties will be wearing so for special occasion also will be wearing different different clothes so different kind of clothes are there now in the market so what are the varieties which you have you will be wearing cotton clothes also you will be wearing woolen clothes also yes we wear different type of clothes according to the season also so in summer what do you wear when it is very hot yes you sweat a lot then what do you do you will wear cotton clothes in summer you wear cotton clothes cotton clothes will keep you very cool cotton clothes come from cotton plant so we get clothes also from plants a big cotton flower will be growing from there cotton will be growing on the plant that cotton is removed and from there they take it to the factory and in the big factory they will make in the threads and all from thread they make cloth then the clothes are prepared and on that colors and everything is printed this is how you get cotton clothes yes very long history so children please observe this thing you get cotton from plants and all the cotton which you get is changed into woven into clothes so they weave the cotton and you get clothes out of it so you wear them only in the summer season because it keeps you cool and when you feel sweaty also the cloth will absorb your sweat and it is very nice cool you feel so this is the type of clothes you wear in the season cotton so what happens when you get winter season winter season is very cold yes or no ah you sit beside a fire you feel you want to feel warm because you're shivering your body is not able to see the coolness of the temperature so you want to wear something warm what do you wear you will be wearing clothes or things made of wool or you'll be wearing woolen clothes so you wear sweaters you wear jackets you wear double double t-shirts correct and then you'll wear shirt t-shirt and shirt and then sweater also to keep yourself warm in winter you wear woolen clothes to keep yourself warm so where do we get this woolen things we get wool from the sheep so cotton you get from plant wool you get from sheep so animals also help you in getting your clothes all the sheep will give you wool the wool is taken to a factory and from there sweaters are made very different no you are learning yes you get this from plant this you are getting from animal see you are learning so children we get the wool from the sheep 
all the woolen clothes you are wearing you get from sheep and this woolen clothes will protect you in the winter season so you have to wear these type of clothes so during rainy season children it is raining so heavily so you have to use the rain coats and you have to wear use the umbrella also this will protect you from feeling wet what happens when lot of rain falls you will become wet you will fall you will have cold cough and fever so see that you don't get wet in the rainy season you have to wear the rain coats and umbrellas so children have you seen what what you are wearing now during the different season during the summer you have cotton clothes which you get from plants yes and during the winter season you wear woolen woolen clothes which you get from the sheep and rainy season the rain coat and the umbrella also are made in a factory this is made out of plastic material or leather material which will help you to keep from getting wet so children these things are all made from different variety of things what do you, what we have learned today summer season winter season rainy season cotton clothes woolen clothes and wearing rain coat and umbrellas and where they are growing so all these things are very important because clothes and things protect and cover our body they protect you from heat cold and rain also so according to the season according to the things which is available you have to wear the things and protect your body cover your body protect your body from heat cold and rain now we are learning a different type of material along with all this material you get a material called silk silk is a very soft material yes i think you must be knowing silk your mummy must be having nice silk sarees you also have a nice silk dress when do you wear such special clothes you will be wearing for functions festivals and any traditional puja yes correct nice that pattu sari or something will be there no it is made of silk there will be silk sari silk shirt pant skirts dresses frocks made of silk you wear it for weddings also for pujas also for festivals also you remember yes that is silk now silk clothes are made where they made from it is very soft and smooth so silk is made from silk worm so we have a small worm called insect called silk worm so silk worm is an insect so we get clothes from insects children it is very soft and smooth silk and very very light the beautiful colors red pink blue very lovely colors so silk is very soft and smooth these clothes are made from silk worms this is an insect so insect also gives you clothes children you are learning not only from the plants from the animals you are getting things from the insects also to have clothes and all the clothes will not look same also yes children some will be wearing only shirt pants only some will be wearing a dhoti and a kurta some will be wearing salwar kameez some will be wearing sarees some will be wearing half sarees some will be wearing skirt and blouse so there are variety of clothes so in our country we have different type of regions india has lot of regions so people in different regions of our country wear different kinds of clothes they are having a variety of clothes in our country they will be wearing different designs and different clothes so clothes can be made not only from cotton wool or silk clothes can be made from even rayon nylon and polyester so cloth is made from this variety also so you can say cloth is made from rayon it is made from nylon and it is made from polyester these clothes are made in a factory children these are the variety of clothes they are rayon nylon and polyester so nylon and rayon and polyester is made in a big factory it is very thin and very delicate but it is not cotton it is different blend it is made from chemicals and other all substances mixed together it is made into nylon rayon and polyester such kind of clothes also is very beautiful Lo lovely designs are there nice color is there but these can be just washed and worn but they will not protect you from 
cold or heat or something like that. So these colorful clothes made from rayon, nylon and polyester also you'll be wearing. You have fancy type of clothes. That means instead of cotton clothes, sometimes you wear colorful different material clothes also. So you get these clothes in these materials, in the rayons, nylon and polyester. Polyester clothes, you'll have variety of designs. So you'll be wearing for a change. You will be wearing it with jeans or with other special occasion also, you'll be wearing polyester clothes. So these are called synthetic fibers. So clothes made from rayon, nylon and polyester are called synthetic fibers. So children, the clothes which are made from rayon, nylon and polyester are called synthetic fibers. They are not like cotton fibers. Cotton, you get thin fibers which is in the factory it is made. But this is made in big factory, they are called synthetic fibers. So we make so many varieties of clothes. To make clothes, first what the cotton is done. So now what we are going to learn is how the clothes are made. So first to make a cloth, what do they need? To make clothes, first the cotton, the cotton or the wool, they are first removed from the sheep or removed from the plant. So first from there a small thread is spun. So thread, we make thread bundles, it is spun. So you can say first from the whole flower cotton which is there, which is found inside the cotton, cotton like that, it is th spun into thread. That means they will make a big bundle and a thread is spun like that. So a thread is spun. They are turned into thread first. So wool or cotton, they are made into thread first. After the thread part is over, they will be taken it into a factory where this is woven woven into cloth. So all the threads bundles will be taken like that. Lot of threads like that. Lot of threads are taken and they are taken to a big factory and there they are made into cloth. So first the cotton or the wool are made into thread form. That means they will remove the thread form and make it into small bundles of thread. And this thread is taken into the factory and woven into cloth. So to make this cloth, who are the persons? It cannot be made like that only. So who will be doing this? The weavers. Who will make this? The weavers. The weavers will make this into cloths. That means weavers will weave the, all the threads and make into clothes. So children, this is what the cloth is prepared like. So first cotton and wool, the thread is spun. So you get bundles of thread. All the bundles of thread are woven into cloth. They are, for that the weavers are there. The weavers will take all the threads together, put it in a line, format, order, and then they weave this into different clothes. So children, this is how the clothes you are wearing is formed. Now you understood the story of the clothes? Yes. The weavers are the ones who weave the cloth. Suppose the weavers are not there. So how they can be done? They can be done in a large quantity in a textile mill. So it is called a textile mill where in big, big machines, the machines are there, cloth weaving machines are there. They are called textile mills. Here also the cloth can be made. So if it is a weaver, he will be sitting and doing the weaving and little cloth will be coming. It will take time. But if you go to a big size factory, a textile mill, where the machines, lot of machines will be there, lot of threads will be there and the cloth will be completely woven and you'll see lot of cloth coming down. I'm sure you can see in this picture how the textile mill works in the machine and how the weaver man is doing a cotton uh, single uh, sari or material also. Children, so this is how cloth is made. Isn't it very important, children? You have learned today cloth about clothes and how a cloth is made. So you will appreciate whenever you wear any clothes, please see that you look after your clothes very well because there are so many people who have worked there. The weavers were working. 
the weavers were working the machines were working and the textile mill all these things were making clothes so when you are wearing the clothes children look after your clothes very well see that they are in very good conditions children look after your clothes very well and always wear clean clothes children that is very very important for you if your clothes become dirty put them for washing wash them neatly iron them and wear them that means you are respecting your clothes see a weaver you are getting clothes from the plant from the animal from the silk insect so all this variety of clothes can be made by a weaver or machines also so you should thank them that you got all these things from nature so you should look after your clothes very well if they are torn or anything immediately stitch it look after the clothes keep them clean and tidy neat and very nice condition look after your clothes very well if you have more clothes or if you have tight clothes children what you can do you don't throw them you can go and donate to poor people i'm sure you can do suppose you have lot of clothes some have become tight some have become little loose what will you do don't throw them give it to a servant's children their poor children will be there give it to them give it to a orphanage go to a orphanage where children are there they all need clothes give your tight clothes and everything to them i'm sure they'll be so happy because see how much time it takes to make a cloth the weavers are there mills are there it comes from the plants also from the sheep also from the silkworm also i'm sure when you give your good clothes some which is become tight also you will give to somebody reuse it again use it again in a different form children so respect your clothes they make you look beautiful and smart but main important look after your clothes very well wear clean clothes and try to give somebody when you have more clothes help somebody give them clothes help the poor people so children this is how we have completed the lesson about clothes so what did we learn today children let us complete the points yes clothes protect us from heat cold and rain right so what are clothes made up of clothes are made of cotton woolen silk and synthetic fibers you have four different varieties of kinds of clothes cotton wool silk synthetic fibers four kinds of clothes are made so how the weavers are making the weaver the weaver weaves cloth at home so he will be doing at home and cloth is produced in large quantity in a big textile mill so in this textile mill lot of cloth is made so this is very big factory but a person at home will be doing only weaving of one cloth or two cloth at home but mill will make so many varieties of clothes in a big factory so this is what we have learned today clothes can be worn in different way in different occasions and every type of clothes which you have made please children respect your clothes keep them clean and if you have extra donate it or help some poor people with your clothes so let us learn why do we wear clothes children let me see if you can answer this question yes we wear clothes why to cover our body and protect from heat cold and rain right very right what clothes should we wear in the winter season children yes in the winter season we wear woolen clothes right how is silk cloth made children silk cloth from is made from the silk worm you get silk cloth from the silk worm so from the silk worm you take the thread same way it is woven and you get silk material correct what do the weavers do what do the weavers do they weave cloth yes children they weave the cloth so weavers will be doing little weaving only but factory a textile mill will have lot of cotton clothes coming out of the factory so children today we have learned about clothes i am sure you will understand what what you are wearing today yes look at your dress does it have color yes see is it cotton touch and see yes so children we are getting so many things from cotton plant from the sheep from the uh, plastic raincoats and from the insects the silkworm 
and plus we have synthetic fibers which is made in a factory all different varieties of clothes are made in our world so children look after them carefully keep them very clean if you have extra or tight clothes help the poor people donate to them thank you children